The Master Sword in Tears of the Kingdom is deceptive. While the attack value of this weapon is not shown, it seems to do just about as much damage as it did in base Breath of the Wild, which is 30 damage. Even with that said, the Master Sword in Tears of the Kingdom is staggeringly more powerful than it was in Breath of the Wild. Here's why. First up, from the early to mid game, especially in the overworld, it can be very difficult if not impossible to find an undecayed weapon. Undecayed weapons usually have lower durability and tend to have lower damage values. We're talking about like 6 to 8 to maybe 12 at the most. And as you find some normal weapons, even then, the damage values doesn't even go up that high until much later on in the game or in the more difficult parts of the map. Comparing this to Breath of the Wild, where you're going to find weapon values that range from like 26 to 32 to 34, much more commonly when you play the game, especially in the early to mid game, this just makes the Master Sword more valuable. The decayed weapons have a purpose in balancing out the fuse mechanic that is introduced in Tears of the Kingdom, where if you want those 32, 46, 50 damage weapons, you're going to have to start fusing, and fusing also gives you more durability. Now, the thing about the Master Sword is that it can also do this fusion, but it has a base 30 damage, and a base 40 durability. Slapping on a very strong boss drop on this thing early on is going to do you insane damage and will last you quite a while. I heard that there's a location in the game that you can unfuse materials from weapons so that way if you're using a really rare material you can savage that from an almost broken weapon but I haven't gotten there yet and I don't think you can do it with the master sword so that would be the one downside to this. But really even with that caveat 30 damage 40 durability is just a very good body to throw stuff on. And how the fusion works is kind of cool you're like you're the Master Sword gets imbued with like some runes and then when you swing your weapon the fused material becomes like some kind of silhouette it, it's a cool effect I like it it's a neat touch and secondly this is a slight spoiler so if you want to skip out on this jump to the timestamp three two one you can get the Master Sword very early on in the game not because of its location but because of the stat requirement needed to pull the Master Sword from its pedestal all you need is an additional bar of stamina meaning clearing 20 shrines and converting all that to stamina. This is actually really good for you since you're going to use it to fly around a lot early on in the game to open up the map. And then also, when you do that, you might stumble upon the Master Sword, wink wink, I won't say it here. Just know, look to the sky, all I'm saying. I was also secretly hoping for the ability to upgrade the Master Sword to make it have infinite durability, like in the Breath of the Wild DLC, but maybe there will also be a DLC for Tears of the Kingdom, who knows. It might be a little bit too broken with the fuse mechanics, so I don't see it happening. Anyways, I see a lot of copium online that the Master Sword's not very good, it sucks, but honestly, depending on your pace, the first 20 or 30 hours in the game, you're not gonna find a better weapon, and even then, it's still gonna be hard to fight the Master Sword's durability, damage, and the fact that it refreshes every 10 minutes after it breaks so that way you'll have it forever and you don't have to farm it and it doesn't take a weapon slot so can't go wrong with it hit that like button if you found this video helpful and consider subscribing for more tears of the kingdom videos my name is Farasana, and i'll see you in the next video